Hi, welcome to Target. How can I help you? I'm just kidding. My name is Chad Owens. I'm with Myers Network Solutions. And every now and then I accidentally wear this red shirt into a Target. And the people there always ask me, do you work here? I mean, it's, it's worse if I'm wearing my khaki pants. But a couple years ago, uh, there was this cool prank pulled on Best Buy. One of the customers didn't like how they, their customer service was working out. And so they, they called a flash mob. And I realize flash mobs are probably extinct now because of COVID. But they pulled this flash mob, texted everybody, said at 2 p.m. show up with blue shirt and khaki pants. Then they proceeded to filter in and out of the store pretending to be employees and helping other people with their electronic purchases and such. And, and they actually did a good service to people. But the owners started to realize, why am I getting so many compliments about my customer service? And they started to get suspicious that maybe the people that were there dressed as employees weren't employees. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about today. Now, in those, in those situations, it's harmless. I mean, if you accidentally wear a blue shirt in the Best Buy or a red shirt in the Target, yeah, you might get asked if you work there. But what about the situation where somebody, and this actually happened, a ring of hackers had, had done this, and they would go and they would go on eBay and they would get a, a Comcast polo shirt, and they would walk in with a clipboard, maybe some khaki pants, and they would, they would come up and they would say to the, to the reception, they would say, Hi, I'm here to uh, do a couple of checks on your internet service. It shouldn't take us very long. I just wanted to make sure that all the equipment's up to standards and, and don't worry, it won't take down your internet sort of a thing. And they're shown into the server room or where the network equipment is. And then what they proceed to do then is gain access to your network. They'll get other information about your firewalls and, and in some cases there'll, there'll be a label with a password or something they could get. Or maybe they'll install a little device that allows them backdoor VPN access to your network. And then they'll proceed to take all the time in the world because you're not noticing that they have this access to find a way to get your information and then to use it to their advantage. Financially, blackmail, whatever it is that they need to do, they will do that. Now this ring has actually been caught doing this, which is why I have the information to tell you that this is a true story and, and what's going on. So. In our security tips, sometimes we talk about physical security, sometimes we talk about cyber security, but this is actually a physical security issue. And so what do you do? Well, like they say in the South, I love this term, you need to be gracefully suspicious. And you know, somebody comes up to you in a uniform, ask for identification, ask for a phone number to call. Now, in, if you're paranoid like me, like any security person often is, you might think, well, they could fake a phone call, just give me a phone number of a friend and he'll answer the cell phone and pretend to be from Comcast, right? Uh, if you don't know what Comcast is, it's a, it's a popular internet service provider. Imagine they could also be wearing an AT&T uh, costume or uniform. They could be from any popular service provider. So anyway, my question to you is, what are your policies about how you let people into your network equipment? And I might even tack onto this just a little bit. What if somebody calls and claims to be your IT service provider? If you, if you use somebody like Myers Network Solutions and somebody calls and says, Hi, I'm Chad with Myers Network Solutions. And you know what? We have a problem with your desktop. I want to fix it real quick. Could you go quick to this website and click on this link and install this software? Now, I do that a dozen times a day because that's part of my job and that's how I help you, our customers. But what about your policies know that that's actually me? Most of the times we, we've already developed some sort of relationship, you know, you know my voice, but maybe you should pause next time I call you. Maybe you should say, are you really Chad? How can you prove that you're Chad? And run me through some steps, ask me some questions, maybe call my supervisor, maybe um, ask me to verify. If somebody came into your front desk, what are your policies to protect yourself? Maybe ask for some other form of identification for a phone call. Have policies in place about who can get into your network room. If you weren't expecting somebody to come, why are they really there? No need to, to be super paranoid uh, because 99% of the time the person's actually there to do what they've come to do. But you also want to just be just that little bit of gracefully suspicious so when they come up to you, you can verify and they don't gain access to your network. One of the ways that you can verify is you could always call us at Myers Network Solutions. We're always here to help you. And you can call and say, hey, this person's here. Did you send them? If you're one of our customers, and if you're not, we're always willing to talk to you about cybersecurity. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. And you know what? You can do the same thing at home. It doesn't just have to be at work. Just make sure that somebody knocks on your door and they're wearing a uniform that they are who they say they are before you let them into anything. I hope this has been helpful. 
and thank you so much for watching.